Okay, this pot and the history, well pan, the history of this pan, I did in a previous video uh, along with those two casseroles, sorry, today I have a guy leaf blowing, you can see all the leaves and there's choppers flying overhead, I don't know what's going on, anyway, but this thing had this pinned in pin over here, so I took this thing and I went, let me just see if I can fit in there, and then I sawed through that which took forever but I'm through okay so I'm gonna take that out now um, oh these three it was attached to another video I cannot remember which one I don't know where it's what what but yes my mother my father's mother used these things and I think we said like 70 years they've been in continuous use anyway now this is a walking stick but it's old and dirty and whatnot that we got somewhere in the eastern Transvaal Mpumalanga at some stage we bought a few me and my daughter and then we gave some to grandfather when his knee was conking out whatnot okay so I could use that part there to make a straight handle but I don't want to I'm gonna cut this thing off over here so I'm gonna have a long handle and it's gonna look like that no like that when it's done so I can put it on a fire easily take it on and off whatnot I'll put in a nail and then just pin it in there again so let's do that okay I don't know if you saw anything um, I had to use this thing to get this stuff out because it was rusted now I need a nail this thick to put in there again and pin it over and then I have to shape my handle to fit in there and then we'll see how that looks okay <clears throat> my daughter being the light of my life um, I'm saying that a bit sarcastically, decided that she wants this cane and then I just need to make it shorter for her so it will be a normal functioning cane. So um, after I sawed off the end, I just chamfered over the bottom again using my trusty Mora companion. Now this thing has been abused so much, but it's still fantastic. Okay, anyway, so I used that. And I just chamfered the edges. So now I have just a straight piece of wood that my handle is going to be made of. So it's not going to be so spectacular, but it should still be fine. I turned lazy so I just did this because doing it with a knife is going to take me a while and I'm on holiday. The handle looks very long but it's not that long, it's about three quarters of a hammer handle so it's not crazy long. Just perspective, let's turn it around so you look at it like that. See, it's not crazy long. Anyway, now, in hindsight, I should have used a thicker piece of wood and, like, made a little collar, but I'm not going to do that. I also did not actually sand this thing. I just buffed it on that 3M wheel. And if you can see the long nail sticking through there, it actually fit. It's a very tight fit, so nothing moves or anything, so that's fine. Just need to saw this off and then pin it over. Uh, yes, and when I say saw it off, I actually meant... Sorry for shakiness. Okay, this is the bottom. It's been pinned over. I just used my huge hammer to smack it. And there's the top of the nail. Okay, and there we have a pan. Quite useful. So now let's make something. I just gave it some boiled linseed oil with a piece of toilet paper. And there we go. Now when it's dry, I can make something. Okay, I started the fire. Um, yes, and I'm gonna use the pan, but we had McDonald's for lunch this afternoon and that gave me an idea because I'm not a fan of McDonald's. Well, it's quick and it's easy and yeah, the small burgers are the only things you can eat while driving because they don't mess. Um, but yes, I'm gonna make weird burgers. Okay, our fire's burning, so now we're waiting for coals. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to make bacon in that thing. Um, this is one of the pots that match that one. So I'm going to put the fried bacon in there. Um, I'm going to use some margarine because I don't have butter to put in these guys with some 
garlic powder and salt and then halfway through I'm gonna put on some cheese and I'm gonna do them in the pan with the bacon grease and then I'm gonna put this with bacon on a bun and that's gonna be my burger sounds wonderful okay, and the fire is still not at coals yet and it's burning like crazy but it will be coals eventually okay our first pack of bacon is in and the nice long handle allows me to stand nice and next to the fire while doing this okay these guys are close to done not done but close to it oh yes the second batch of bacon is inside now once this is done it's time for the shrooms Oh, this is gonna be good. I feel that. This is back bacon. I normally use streaky, but this was not special today. Okay, so our mushrooms are in there now with some garlic powder. Not too much. It goes better if it's too much. Yes, this looks a lot, but it's not that much. Then some... Oh, sorry, I'm doing this from my pockets. Then some salt. Yes, salt takes out the water, which is good because the stuff is kind of freezing up on me now. Okay, and now we're going to add some margarine to each one of them. Okay, so now we have them like that. Some margarine inside and at the bottom. Oh, this is going to be delicious. In a little while when they seem ready... I will put on some cheese and then put on the lid for a while. Okay, and then if you don't know what this thing is for, it's just so I can pick it up when it's hot. Okay. Perfect. Okay. And now it's time for some cheesies. Like I said in previous videos, we don't have to go all savage, but we do have to get enough on here for them to be delicious. Okay, and we don't want to dro uh, drop too much in the sauce because otherwise the next ones are going to stick. And I have a feeling that's what is going to happen, but we don't care because it looks delicious. So I'm putting back the lid. See what these guys look like. Oh, that's fantastic. Okay, these guys are coming off. Next ones are going on. I'll show you what the burger looks like. Yeah, I'm going to show you what the burger looks like. Okay, so in here we have the done ones, and in here we have the undone ones. It's gonna be good. Okay, so now I'm taking these guys out. And this sauce that's left behind is like the most awesome mushroom gravy you can find ever. I wish I could bottle this stuff. Maybe I should try. Anyway, but now what we're going to do next is the following. Um, let's see how we're going to do this. We move this towards the side. Then I'm going to do this. Hold on a second. What I'm going to do next is take my buns, pat them in that stuff because it's pretty much margarine and I don't know, cheese and awesomeness out. And then yes, yeah, just get some more on there. And then drop them on there. And then once they are fried, I'm going to make a burger. So there we have that thing. Then we are going to take one oh, 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 mushroom. Put it on there. We're going to take some bacon. Oh, you can't even see what I'm doing. Piece of bacon. Let's take another piece of bacon like that. We are going to take some of this awesomeness, spare pink sauce, put it on there, put on the top bun, and oh goodness, that's going to be it. Okay, all of you stay safe, happy, have a good one, can you at least see my phone? Okay, there we go, goodbye.